the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. This should be a good one to watch. And it comes your way next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to downtown Detroit and Ford Field, the home of the Lions. Good to be in the booth with Greg Olson. I'm Mike Tirico. Greg, this is a passing league. You know that from your days. It's evolved even more into a game in the air. And boy, we have a couple of quarterbacks who know all about moving their team via the pass. Yeah, and I think we're going to see this ball thrown early and often throughout the game. And anyone who loves offensive football, this is certainly a treat. And you said it, Mike. This league has turned more and more with each passing season into a passing league. If you can't throw, if you can't generate points through the air and explosive plays, it is going to be very difficult to compete and win week in and week out in today's modern NFL. The punter, Jack Fox, handling the kickoffs. And off we go from Ford Field. Now return coming from the seven. And this will work out quite well. He'll get it all the way out to the 30-yard line. The Buccaneers led out by their quarterback, Baker Mayfield. He was in Cleveland and Carolina and then with the Rams. But now year two, and it feels like he's found a home. Greg here with the Buccaneers. I don't know about you, Mike, but my biggest takeaway from our meeting with him was just how important it is that they get off to a fast start. He made it very clear. They wanted to put their opponent on their heels right from the jump. So I think early in this game, they're going to come out swinging right from the opening whistle. Right to the air, it's Mayfield. A throw right side, going to be taken in by McMillan. You can see the eyes of the quarterback. He's trying to push this ball initially downfield, but with the defense doing a good job keeping a lid on the coverage, he's forced to check this ball down to the shallow route. But this is something that they know in the future. If I need a couple yards, they can come back to this play. They'll run with the third-year man. It's Rashad White. He'll manage only a couple. That's Carlton Davis bringing an end to that one. They'll come up to third and three. Slot man in motion left. From the gun, it's Mayfield. He'll find his running back, White, and he will have the first down. The drive will continue after a pickup of eight. Nice play here by Rashad White. I'll tell you, I had a chance to call one of his games late last year, and what really stands out is he is very comfortable when being used in the passing game. And finished last year fourth amongst all NFL running backs, finishing with 64 receptions. Mayfield to throw it here on first down. Back to the left side, caught by McMillan. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. Baker going to hand it to White. And he'll get the first down there, a pickup of about five yards. On first down, right back to White. He'll try to push forward. He'll wind up getting three yards with that one. Alex Anzalone in for the tackle. Second and seven. Here comes Otten in motion. Second down throw for Mayfield. A short one there to Otten. 
And they'll hold him to a gain of just a couple and sets up third down. Shotgun Mayfield. He'll let this go deep for the end zone. That is caught. What a throw! Chris Godwin. Touchdown, Tampa. They find the end zone here on the opening drive, and Greg, they're able to do it in the air. Mike, it makes you wonder: Is this drive a sign of things to come? I mean, this secondary—they had their hands full there. Are we going to see it repeated throughout the rest of this game, or are they going to have some answers on defense? On is Chase McLaughlin for the extra point. He's got it. And the Buccaneers will take a 7-0 lead. Nothing is our score as this kick is sent into the air. This one taken at the seven. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Lions led by Jared Goff, chanting his name during the playoffs in 2023 in Detroit. Far cry from the trade from the Rams to the Lions, second in the league in passing a season ago. In my opinion, Mike, if they expect to leave here today with a win, they're going to have to be aggressive early and often. They might not connect on all of them, but pushing the ball downfield could open up a lot of opportunities for you to take advantage as this game unfolds. They'll come up here first and 10. They move Laporta, sending him in motion. Right to the air, here's gone. He'll be hit as he throws, and that one will wind up Incomplete. Could not step into the throw that time. It'll bring up second down. Let's give credit to that pass rush for making their presence felt. And although it didn't result in a sack, it's the disruption of the timing that's just enough to force that incompletion. Now the second-year man out of Alabama, Jameer Gibbs. And this will be a short pickup to about the 30. Levante David doing his work on defense. Out of the shotgun. It's gone. That's a short one caught by Laporta. And he looks to be a bit short of the line. And that is going to bring up fourth down the initial reaction is how does this quarterback not throw the ball past the first down line to gain to try to extend this drive and the reality is because they've already decided they're going to go for it on fourth down if he doesn't pick up the extra yards after the catch they've got a fourth down play call they feel great about and we're going to see what it looks like the Buccaneers offense ready now for their second drive they lead seven nothing thanks to the touchdown on the opening drive so Try to double up here as they begin this drive first and ten. Mayfield. That's caught left side by Otten. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. On second down, Baker taking it down. This one is caught. 
And they'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. 16-yard pickup on that one. Good for a Buccaneers first down. This is a great example, Mike, of just how effective it is when you're efficient on early downs throwing the ball. I mean, when you can pick up first downs without getting to third down, as the game unfolds, things just get easier and easier. Take what the defense is giving you. Don't force the ball downfield. But when you can stay ahead of the chains without having to get to third and have it plays, that's when an offense is really firing. Here comes Otten in motion. On first and ten, here's Baker. To the tight end, Otten with the grab. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. Throwing on second down, Mayfield. Godwin working the right side. And the tackle's going to be made down at the 40-yard line. Remember, he had the touchdown on the opening drive, and here on drive two, he gets a first down with that catch. They send Evans in motion. On first down is Mayfield. And it's complete to the sideline. Nice job getting both feet down inbound. Now it looks like Dan Campbell will go ahead and throw the red challenge flag here. At issue, was he able to stay in bounds? The NFL rules, you're looking for either two feet or a body part that is not a hand to be down with possession of the ball. No bobbling, the ball not moving around. He has control, so that's what the referee is looking at here. So the challenge is unsuccessful, and he's gonna have to be careful here because he has just one challenge for the remainder of the game. Here's a second and three forthcoming. Shotgun snap and a give to White. And they'll finally run him down, but not before he takes it inside the 15. A gain there of 21. Good for a Buccaneers first down. This is a combination of footwork and vision. His ability to kind of weave through traffic and understand where the holes were. It's a really nice job working through some bodies and picking up a big game. Here's first and ten. They send Godwin in motion. Mayfield to throw on first and ten. Gets this one into the hands of his receiver, Godwin. Well, let's give some credit to the big boys up front in the trenches. They knew that blitz was coming. They held up just long enough that the quarterback could get that ball out safely and results in a completion. They'll run out of the gun. This is White. And he's going the wrong way. Dropped back at the seven. This play here, Mike, is just all about the get-off of the defensive line. Watch how fast they go when that ball is snapped. Nowhere for this running back except to go down for a loss. Third and five. Throwing is Baker. That is caught by McMillan. And a good job here defensively. They did not let him get away. He's well short of the first down mark. Really well done here by the defense, Mike, executing this zone defense and 
They've got to be able to pattern read. You're not just going to drop back to a spot and just play like a robot. Based on what the receivers do off the line, the defenders have different rules of where their zones move to. Well, they had that one dialed in right from the jump, and they were able to stop that play really before it got started. So the lead is now 10-0 as this kicks away. Very good kickoff. Returnable from the four. And it'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drop. The Lions offense ready for their second possession. They'll start out first down and 10. From the gun, it's gone. That'll be caught. It's Jameer Gibbs. We are through once. 10 nothing is our score. And we are back to the Motor City in a moment. They'll bring St. Brown in motion. They'll go play action with Goff. To the right side, that's St. Brown. And he will not get away. Terrific open field tackle. Gets him down behind the line. The quick passing game in the NFL, Mike, is so dependent on yards after the catch. You got to generate space with the scheme, and then it's up to the receiver to do the rest. In this case, nice job defensively, because this guy couldn't even get back to the original line of scrimmage. Right back to St. Brown. They connect again. It's a gain of 10 yards. Good for a Lions first down. They move Laporta, sending him in motion. Goff going to throw here on first and ten. Right side, that's Laporta, the tight end. And he's going to be taken down right at midfield. That's 13 more on that play. And quickly, another first down. Well, I'll tell you what, Mike. This is one of those times where you really see the evolution of the tight end position, right? It's not the days of just go past the first down, turn around, catch it, and fall. We see so many guys around the league that with the ball in their hand, they're almost more running back than they are tight end. And he will wiggle his way forward for a gain of a couple. Hook him up on a second down and eight. Williams in motion. On second down, gone. Open man downfield, it's Laporta. That's his third catch of this first half and good enough for a first down. So if you're going to have time to allow your big tight end to start on one side of the field and run a crossing route all the way to the other, 
Your big guys up front better hold up in protection. That's exactly what they were able to do here. Gave the quarterback the confidence of staying with them the entire way through, delivering that ball on the far side of the field and leads to a nice pickup. On first and 10, here's Goff. This pass complete to Raymond. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. A second down throw for God. That's caught by Gibbs. And he's going to be brought down just outside the 10-yard line. Second time they've hooked up on this drive. This one good for 12 and a first down. We've now seen this quarterback show that he can beat you from both inside and now outside of the pocket. The ability to use his legs to flush out and buy time for his receivers. They uncover downfield. Leads to a big pickup. On target for the portal. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. The timing of these RPO concepts, that's the entire key. Remember, Mike, different than the college game, these offensive linemen, they're blocking for the run. But if that ball gets pulled, the pass option of the play, they're not allowed downfield in the college game. Oh, the pressure, too much, and he goes down. That last sack is exactly why defensive coaches preach over and over. Just play the next down. Just continue to make them snap the ball again. You're one big defensive play from changing everything about this drive. And what once looked like a promising drive, following that sack, looks a little bit different now. Third and long. Throwing here is gone. He'll get this one to his safety valve. Complete. And the drive stalls out as he's brought down. And the field goal unit likely to come on here on fourth and goal. When you throw the ball short of the sticks on third down, you're relying heavily on the yards after the catch. So give credit to the defense here. Once the ball carrier had the ball, multiple guys around him, corralled him, take him down short of the sticks. The kick is perfect, right down the middle. And the Lions are on the board. It's now 10-3. to three. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away the return starts from the five and he's brought down right at the 25 yard line the Bucks offense getting their final instruction before heading back onto the field they lead by a touchdown as this drive begins with first and ten Motion the slot man left. Mayfield to throw it here on first down. A short one there to Otten. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. 
The drag route. We used to say this is day one install. Every single offense in the NFL has this sort of route, especially for the tight end position. And depending on the speed and the run after catch ability of the tight end, sometimes it can lead to some of the biggest gains. A second down throw for Mayfield. He finds Mr. Reliable, Mike Evans. And he's going to be dragged down, but not until he's inside the 25. It is a big play for the Buccaneers. 45 yards. These wide outside the number throws. This is where a quarterback really gets to show off his arm strength and arm talent. This puts a ton of pressure on the defense because now they say, all right, we have to defend every single blade of grass. The break the huddle coming up now for first and 10. From the gun, it's Mayfield. This one on target to Godwin. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. Second and a yard. On second down, a run with White. And the Bucks are going to be set up with a first and goal. A strong running takes them down to the nine. They'll run with White. And he will get into the end zone. Rashad White. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. On comes McLaughlin to add the PAT. The kick is good. And the Buccaneers move out in front by the score of 17 to 3. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. He fields it at the 8. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. Here's the Detroit offense now headed back onto the field. They trail by two touchdowns, so the time is now. Got to get that rally going. It starts with first and 10. start this one on the ground with Gibbs. And that'll go for a gain of about four. From his corner spot, Jamel Dean ends that play. Two minutes to go here. Till halftime. Greg and I back from Ford Field in Detroit in a moment. Throwing on second down. Goff. He'll let this one go long for Williams. And he will score. Jameson Williams. Touchdown, Lions. A beautiful combination in the air there. The pass downfield and bringing it the rest of the way into the end zone for the touchdown. 
And it's really just a great route, Mike, and then a beautiful throw. The accuracy of the throw is what allowed the receiver not only to secure the catch, but then be able to turn it up and finish the play and find himself in the end zone. Extra point attempt to come here. The kick is good. And the Lions are able to cut into the lead. It's now 17 to 10. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away this will be returned from the six and he'll be brought down just beyond the 25 yard line the Bucks offense running back Rashad White ready for this next possession they try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and ten Shotgun Mayfield to the tight end, Otten with the ground, and he's brought down after a game of six on first down. They'll work now on second and four. They send Evans in motion. Throwing on second down, Mayfield. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. To throw is Mayfield. This one caught left side by Evans. Now the Bucks will take their first time out. They get the stoppage with just over 50 seconds to play in this first half. On second down, Baker... That's over the middle and intercepted. It's the linebacker, Jack Campbell. Those simple routes over the middle, Mike. Well, to the quarterback, they're not always so simple. I'll tell you what, there's a lot of bodies in the middle of the field. There's a lot of traffic. Those windows are hard to navigate the ball through safely. So what happens? Well, you saw it there. It's a prime area for throws to be intercepted. The Lions offense going to see what they can do in the final minute of this first half. They've got great starting position with a short field as they try to get back in this one. It is first and ten. the shotgun. It's gone. Here comes the blitz as he looks to throw. To the outside. St. Brown. That's his third catch of this first half and good enough for a first down.
The motion man is Raymond. On first down, it's Goff. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. In what's clearly become a passing league, Mike, if you're not actively rushing the passer, you have to be able to hold up in coverage, and that's especially true at the linebacker position. Great job here getting in those passing lanes and being able to break up that ball. They'll send him over to the left. From the gun, it's Goff. He finds Raymond for the completion. And he'll be stopped short of the first down. He's able to look it in and get forward for a pickup of about eight. Now a third and two. Throwing, Goff. He'll get this one complete to St. Brown. And he will have the first down. The drive will continue after a pickup of eight. Here's the third and final timeout for the Lions. And Campbell will opt to bring out the field goal unit. Officially, a 29-yard attempt. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Lions are able to cut it to four. 17 to 13. So, two seconds left to play, and the kick's away. And this one is fielded in the end zone, will not be returned. So it'll come out to the 30. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Here's Mayfield. Now he'll air one out. And he's got it. And he's going to be taken down as time runs out on this first half of play. All right, Mike, thanks very much. And welcome, in everyone, to our halftime report. It was a solid first half for the running back, Rashad White. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. The second half, straight ahead. Time to get back to it. And for the call, let's rejoin Mike Tirico and Greg Olson. Coach, thank you. Both teams trying to find the right formula to come out on top in this second half. Coming up. Both teams ready to get back at it as we get back underway here on EA Sports. Now return coming from the seven. And he'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. The Lions offense going to have a first crack at it as we begin this third quarter. And trail by four, a touchdown gives him the lead. Drive begins with first and ten. They move Laporta, sending him in motion. On the ground to start, they give it to Gibbs.
On second down, Goff. Catch is made by Wright. And he'll be taken down. The game is six, and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down. He'll go play action with Goff. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. Amon Ross St. Brown, the receiver he was trying to target. It's second down. There was tight coverage all across the field. I think the quarterback thought he had the arm strength to fit this one into a pretty small window, but the defense wasn't having it. They were all over it, and I think the quarterback actually got away with one there. A second down throw for Goff. He's hit as he threw. It goes to the ground, and it's an incomplete pass. As a pass rusher, you don't always need to record a sack to make your presence felt. Creating pressure, move the quarterback, affect his timing. Those are all different ways to take pressure off your coverage unit. From the gun, on third down, it's gone. He's got his man down the field. It is a big completion. And he's going to be brought down inside the 15. Goff to St. Brown for a big one. It's a gain of 43 yards. And Mike, I think as they try to find themselves clawing back in this game, they're going to have to make a concentrated effort here in the second half to continue to get him involved. He's one of the best playmakers we have in the entire NFL Give him opportunities in space with the ball in his hand. And chances are, when he has it, good things happen. Right back to St. Brown. They connect again. Goff to throw. Over the top. He's got it. On and on. Safe round. Touchdown, Detroit. A try here for the extra point. He knocks it through. And the Lions go up by a field goal as they lead it by three. Teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. This one taken at the seven. He'll work his way across the 25 yard line. The Buccaneers' offense and their running back getting set for this next possession. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides as this drive kicks off with first and ten. He'll send a tight end in motion right. On first and ten, here's Baker. He finds his tight end, Keith. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down.
A give, and here's White. And he'll get this close to the first down. It's a pickup of four, but it still leaves third and short. They'll try to run for it. Here's White. And that'll move the sticks. First down, up to the 40. Now, they fear. taken down at the 30-yard line. A big play and a much-needed one as well. And even 30 yards. While everybody wants to attack the middle of the field, you just have to make sure you don't do it recklessly. You want to make sure you protect both the ball and your receiver. And in this case, he does both. Puts it on the money, picks up a big game. On first down, it's White. And he'll move this ahead for about four yards. Big lineman Aleem McNeil ends the play there. They'll go again with White. And he's going to bring this one close to a first down. Looks like they'll mark him just a yard short. On third down, it's White. And they get it at the 18-yard line. The drive stays alive. First down picked up. Here comes Otten in motion. Mayfield to throw it here on first down. That's to the left side. Caught by McMillan. And good yardage there after the catch. They'll wind up with a gain of seven on first down. Here's second and three to go. They send Godwin in motion. Second down throw for Mayfield. To the left side. To Godwin. And this drive's going to continue. They bring him down, but not before he picks up first and goal for his team. They'll try to run with White. What a move! He's in. Rashad White. Touchdown, Tampa. His second TD of the game, and this one gives his team the lead. McLaughlin now for the extra point. He's got it. And the Bucks have taken a four-point advantage.
the kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. He'll start at the four. Across the 20, they'll mark him down before the 25-yard line. And that's where the offense will take over. So now, out comes the offense, led by their quarterback as they take over once again. And he has been in control of this offense. Want to run you through some of the action from earlier on. You've got the two touchdown passes, over 200 passing yards. He has been excellent all game long. They move Laporta, sending him in motion. Goff to throw on first down. That's caught by Gibbs. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. Gives it to Gibbs. And this will be a Lions first down as he's able to get it to the 37-yard line. Williams in motion. First down, and they stick with Gibbs. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. It'll be a pickup of 10. Good for a Lions first down. Well, after not having much success in the first half, they're able to get something going on the ground here to start the third quarter. I'd love to see the play caller mix in some play action, mix in some pass game. That should open up some of these holes for better situations to run the ball. Goff going to throw here on first and 10. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Even though it doesn't result in a sack, when you dial up the right pressure at the right time, Mike, sometimes that's all it takes to lead to that incompletion. The timing is just a little off between the quarterback and his intended target, and the ball falls incomplete. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. That one, good for 13. Good for a Lions first down. Well, there's not a whole lot of fancy going on here, Mike. This is just kind of old-school lineup and run smash-mouth football. It's exactly what they did, but it still ends up in a big game, and he picks up the first down. And he'll get about eight on that one, most of it coming after the catch. It's second down. So both teams trade touchdowns in that frame as we get through the end of the third quarter. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. A 16 yards down to the 16. Well, here he is just taking over this drive from the running back spot. And frankly, Mike, any time the secondary and defensive backs are making a lot of tackles downfield, you know the offensive line's doing their job up front, and we can see the results. On 
on first and ten. Here's Goff. He'll get this out to his running back. And he's not going to get too far tackled after a gain of just a yard. Here's second and nine. Out of the shotgun, it's Goff. To get this complete, it's Williams over the middle. And the Lions are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them down to the one. These are the worst. I, I had a couple years, Mike, where I swear I got tackled inside the one-yard line ten times, and then you look back and you're like, Man, how many touchdowns did I leave on the board because I couldn't get one more yard. Now, for him individually, not ideal, but right now they're on the doorstep of the end zone and they got to find a way to put that ball across the goal line. What a moment in this game. A touchdown would give them the late lead. It is first down and goal. He puts it up and it's caught. Jamison Williams. Touchdown, Lions. His second TD of the game, and this one gives his team the lead. What a game this has been. Back and forth we go, and that fourth quarter score changes the lead one more time. And we've seen the lead go back and forth, Mike, and now the question is, can they get a stop? Can they find a way defensively to hang on to this lead and get themselves this big win? Now this, an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. His kick is good, and the Lions go up by three. It's 27 to 24. So now playing with the lead after that fourth quarter touchdown. Time to kick it back the other way. From the six, here comes a return. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drop. Here's the Tampa Bay offense. They're going to take over once more. They'll start it here with a first and ten. moves and ahs from the crowd sidestepping his way nifty gain of nine there off the play fit it's Mayfield and that one knocked away it's incomplete the whole idea of the play-action pass, Mike, is that you can slow the pass rush down enough that it allows longer, slower developing pass concepts to open up downfield. But in this case, they were on him so fast that by the time he got his head around, that ball needed to come out. There was no timing and ultimately led in an incompletion. Get this complete right side to Otten. And he's going to have the first down. It is a gain of six. Good conversion on third down. Out of the shotgun, Mayfield. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. To say football is a game of inches may be an understatement after that last play. I mean, if he gets there just a little bit quicker, he can get two hands on it and reel it in. And instead of just forcing the incomplete, he could have had himself a pick. They send Evans in motion. Throwing on second down, Mayfield. 
will get about six before he's taken down. Here's a third down and four. They send Evans in motion. From the gun on third down, it's Mayfield. And he's going to be out of bounds after a pickup of about four, but that is enough to keep the drive alive. First down. Tight end motioning left. He'll run here. He'll work his way ahead for a gain of about four. Here's a second and six. From the gun, it's Mayfield. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. He can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. Galen McMillan, the one he was looking for there. And it'll be third down. Here comes Otten in motion. Third down. They'll set up to throw. That's caught. It's Evans. And the defense can't come up with a stop there. Gain a seven and a first down. Here comes Otten in motion. Mayfield to throw on first and ten. And as he threw it, the pass is incomplete. The pass protection's been a little bit shaky at times, and that was the case there. And even though they're not going to go down for allowing a sack, it was allowing the pressure that ultimately prevented that pass from being complete. We'll try again here. Second and ten. One of the tight ends in motion right. Gets it away quickly, and it's caught. And it'll be taken down at the 25-yard line. 12 yards on that hookup. It's a first down for Tampa Bay. As this game continues to come down to the wire, Mike, it just reminds us, this is where quarterbacks earn their keep. You are judged by how you play in these critical moments. In fourth quarter, down a score, it doesn't get much bigger than this. On first down is Mayfield. He'll find his running back, White. Here comes Otten in motion. On second down, Baker. Off-balance throw. It's complete. 17 yards on the game, and now they've got first and goal. And make it a hat trick. That is his third rushing touchdown of the game. A big reason his team is on top. 
And so far, Mike, this run game has been the difference, and we're going to see in the second half. Now, can they protect this lead? Because, Mike, that's where a run game has its most value. And so far, this guy's been incredible. McLaughlin, good on the extra point. And the Bucks have taken a four-point advantage. So now playing with the lead after that fourth quarter touchdown. Time to kick it back the other way. This taken in at the eight-yard line. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. And you think back to the first half, Mike, just how well he threw the ball. And you thought maybe this defense would come up with some answers in the second half to slow him down. But so far, that has proven to not be the case. Set to go now on first and ten. Now Gibbs. And he finds some space tackled after a gain of seven on first down. They'll bring St. Brown in motion. They fake the jet sweep and give it up the middle. And he's going to weave his way forward. It's a first down at the 44-yard line. Throwing, Goff. That's a short one caught by Laporta. And good yardage there after the catch. They'll wind up with a gain of seven on first down. Off the play fake. Here's Goff. Catch is made by Wright. You try to use that size to push forward, but it's not going to work. Defense strong up front. And they're going to get him down behind the line of scrimmage. Linebacker certainly wasn't fooled on that play. Not only does he get there in a hurry, but he's able to secure that tackle and bring him down for a loss. From the gun, it's Goff. Now a pass deep for St. Brown. They'll drop to throw. And that would be the dagger. It's intercepted. All right, Mike, file this play away. If they're able to hold on and pull this game out, we're going to look back on this as the pivotal moment of this game. Oftentimes, it takes that one big moment to sway the outcome of a game, and no bigger play than a pick deep inside your own red zone. The Buccaneers offense and their running back getting ready to go back to work. And as we go through the highlights, no shortage of touchdowns today. Three trips to the end zone in this one. The combination, the power, the speed, everything on display. 
And the defense has seen it all. The drive begins at the 20. Here's first and 10. He'll start this on the ground. And here's White. And he'll get about five. The Lions call their first time out. And they'll get together prior to the second down play. Another run here with White. And he'll pick up two out to the 27. Now Detroit's going to use their second timeout to talk things over before third down. Baker going to hand it to White. Here's the third and final timeout for the Lions. As they'll discuss what's to come as fourth down is looming. The Buccaneers getting their punter out there. As they try to play the field position game here, protecting a fourth quarter lead. First down and more. Past the 40. Oh, looks like he may have had a seam for a moment, but he's taken down after a solid return. They'll come up for first and ten. Now Goff. There's that man again. Another catch. And he'll get about eight on that one. Most of it coming after the catch. It's second down. The throw is gone. Down the field, he's got seat Brown. He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier, and that catch gets him a first down. Now, gone. He's got LaPorta open on the left side. And they're going to be set up in the red zone. They've got it inside the 15. That's his second catch on the drive. This one is good for 20 yards. Pressure time. No timeouts to stop the clock as they get set here for a big first down. He pulls it in around the five. Here comes second down. To throw is gone. And this is a touchdown! They were not going to be denied, and they have taken the lead here in the final minute of play. The teamwork was just ideal there. 
Greg, we don't see practice all week, but we see it pay off in the game. And when you have a wide receiver, Mike, that can operate near the sideline, it just increases the amount of space that quarterback has to work with. He knows that he can put that ball maybe a little bit further away from the defender, knowing he's got the guy on the other end to not only secure the catch, but to keep his feet in bounds for a touchdown. to the final few seconds of this one as the kick is away. A couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. Here is first and 10. Throwing is Mayfield. Down the field, it's Evans. And he's going to be out of bounds, and that's going to do it. Their late comeback bid comes up short as time has expired in this game. So it's a win here for the Lions. This was a game where both offenses were up and down the field, marching the ball at will, matching each other point for point. In the end, a few more defensive stops than their opponents did. That is the difference in this one. So that'll do it for us. For Greg Olson and our terrific team behind the scenes, I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Follow us on X at EA Madden NFL. It's a win for the Lions as we say so long from downtown Detroit.